Connecting devices at the edge introduces a new generation of security threats. These threats now provide attackers access to more than just data. They provide localized control and monitoring of IoT devices that, if compromised, can jeopardize the safety from an individual to even a global level. That's why Goen Semiconductor is introducing a new product line of micro SoC FPGA devices called Secure FPGA. This, combined with a microprocessor, FPGA fabric, a large flexible SRAM, and advanced security library provide the essential features for differentiation at a power, cost, and size budget needed for your next IoT product. Common usage of GoIn Secure FPGA security features are enabling secure boot and device firmware, generating key pairs for wired and wireless connectivity, and encrypting and decrypting data based on those generated key pairs. Let's take a look at a wireless connectivity project using Secure FPGA. Here I have two GoIn DK start boards with the Secure FPGA on each of them. I also have a Wi-Fi module located on each of these and both of these boards are just powered by battery and are connected to the cloud to an MQTT broker. In this case I'm using Amazon Web Services but the same demo is applicable to Alibaba Cloud, uh, Microsoft Azure um, or any other MQTT broker. When I press the push button on one board, that number of the counter that's in one FPGA device is broadcast over the broker to all devices on the network and they receive that same number. And then the LED lights up corresponding to that number. So if I press the push button once here, it goes from one to two. That's because the counter in this device was originally on one and incremented it two on all devices. If I press it again, it'll go to three. Again, it'll go to four. If I press the push button on this device, it will broadcast a different number. As you can see, it went from four to two. That's because the counter in this device was on one and incremented it two. So if I press it again, it will go to three. If you remember, the counter in this device was on 4, so it should go to 1, which it does. And these devices are both using TLS 1.2 security with the MQTT broker, and the private key used to connect through TLS is not stored in flash, rather it's generated on power-up based on the puff. Go and Secure FPGA provides an embedded secure element enabling a root of trust based on Puff technology. Each device is factory provisioned with a unique key pair that is never exposed outside of the device. This is a widely applicable feature and it can be used for a variety of consumer and industrial IoT, edge and server management applications. I'm Grant Jennings, Director of International Marketing for GoWin Semiconductor and I'm looking forward to helping you go win by programming for future.